Hello students, welcome to session 3 of soil. In today's session, we are going to study about soil profile. We are through with the introduction to soil, soil formation which includes the three stages of process of weathering and factors affecting soil formation. They are climate, characteristics of the parent rock and slope of land. So let us start with today's interesting session and learn about, let us study about soil profile. Yes students, what is soil profile? Students, due to the physical, chemical and biological activities that take place during soil formation, well developed layers of soil are formed, like one below the other, not parallelly or not sequentially, sorry, it's not horizontally, totally together or vertically, but layer by layer means one below the other. So typically, four distinct soil layers can be seen, distinguishable due to differences in color and size of the particles. And these layers are referred to as horizons. what they are termed as horizons. So students, soil horizons or soil layers means that soil is made up of distinct horizontal layers and these layers are called horizons because they are made up of distinct horizontal layers and they range from rich organic upper layers to underlying rocky layers and so accordingly names are given to these horizons and all these horizons or all these layers make up the soil profile. So let us see the definition of soil profile and then we will discuss about each layer. Yes, a vertical section that shows the distinct layers of soil or horizons when we cut straight down into the soil is known as soil profile. And we can also say that it is made up of distinct horizontal layers and these layers are called horizons and a vertical section which shows the distinct layers or horizons is known as a soil profile. So let us see which horizons are there in a soil profile. Yes, this is a beautiful image of soil profile. So first we will see an overview of this soil profile. Now here I am going to write down names of horizons. Yes, this layer which you see, the blackish one, the dark one, is the O horizon. Or O layer. After that comes A. This is the A layer. Then comes B. Then comes C. And the last one is R. Now we will see that what is A, what is B, what is C, what is R and what is O. Right? So try to remember this and try to keep this beautiful picture in your mind. Yes. A horizon or topsoil. A horizon is also known by the name topsoil 
which is the uppermost layer of soil and it consists of the fine particles means a horizon is the layer which is consisting of fine particles and it is rich in humus and therefore very dark in color it is soft porous and can hold water while the o layer is the organic matter this o name has been given after the name of organic matter its initial which lies just above the top soil and is rich in organic matter after then comes b horizon or subsoil which is rich in minerals and other materials which seep down along with water and it also contains compactly packed fine particles of soil below that comes c horizon which contains partly weathered pieces of rock and it is usually characterized by cracks and crevices and it is very difficult to dig beyond this layer so which is the hardest layer and the lower most layer yes our horizon or bedrock so this is the lower most layer and mainly consists of the parent rock so we can call it as parent rock also or bedrock also so our horizon undergoes weathering and starts forming the soil this is the layer for, from which the formation of soil starts it begins so the properties of this rock greatly determine the composition of the soil so we can know that why what does the soil composes according to its property of the rock right so these are the soil horizons or layers which make up the soil profile now let us revise again about this soil profile yes o is the organic matter means the little litter layer l i t t e r litter layer of plant which residues in relatively undecomposed form then comes the surface soil which is the layer of mineral soil with most organic matter accumulation and soil life and this layer alluviates or alluviates means it is depleted of iron clay aluminum organic compounds and other soluble constituents so a horizons may also be the result of a combination of soil or surface processes that we know the fine particles from the top soil the subsoil is the layer which accumulates the iron clay aluminum and organic compounds and parent rock or bed rock is the layer of large unbroken rocks and this layer may accumulate the more soluble compounds soluble compounds means the compounds which easily dissolve in liquid or water because water is a universal solvent so students a vertical section through different layers of soil is called soil profile and each layer differs in feel means texture each layer is different in texture color depth and chemical composition so we usually see the top surface of the soil not the layers below it we can't see the layers below it we can only see the top surface of the soil and if we look at the sides of the recently dug ditch we can see the inner layers of soil in this way so such a view enables us to observe the soil profile at that place 
Soil profile can also be seen while digging a well or laying the foundation of a building. It can also be seen at the sides of the road on a hill or at the steep river bank. So the uppermost horizon is generally dark in color. Here you can see it is very dark in color as it is rich in humus and minerals. And the humus makes the soil fertile and provides nutrients to the growing plants. So this layer is generally soft, porous and can retain more water. So till here you can see that this is somewhat, somewhat dark. So O and A are both together. O layer and A layer. A horizon and O horizon. Then comes the B horizon. That is that the next layer which is the B horizon has a lesser amount of humus. Now in A horizon it is so rich it is so rich that it provides shelter for many living organisms such as worms, rodents, moles, beetles, etc. And the roots of small plants are embedded entirely in the topsoil. Here you can see that they are entirely embedded in the topsoil. So the next layer has a lesser amount of humus but more of minerals. And this layer is generally harder and compact. So this is called the middle layer or B horizon. After that comes the sea horizon, that is the third layer, which is made up of small lumps of rocks, third layer or fourth layer, which is made up of small lumps or rocks, of rocks with cracks and crevices. And below this layer is the bedrock, which is hardest of all and difficult to dig with a spade. So this is the one which is present with the unbroken rocks. So mainly the soil formation of soil depends on our horizon or the bedrock or parent rock. Right? So that was all about the soil profile. I hope you liked today's session. We will meet in the next session with more information on soil and other interesting topics of soil too. Till then, have a nice time. Enjoy.